Hi, I am here to answer problem 5.10 taken from Chapter 5, The Chemical Engineering Process and Systems Analysis and Control Book. So the problem goes like this. A tank having a cross-sectional area of 2 feet squared and a linear resistance of R is equal to 1 feet per cubic feet meter is operating at a steady state with a flow rate of 1 cubic feet meter. At time 0, the flow varies as shown in figure 5.10. So we are tasked to determine QT and QS by combining simple functions, noting that Q is the deviation in flow rate. And also, obtain an expression for HT where H is the deviation level and determine HT at T is equal to 0. First and foremost, we have to write the given. Since this states a problem that it is operating at a steady state, so we can easily uh, start with the transfer function for liquid level system given by the equation 5.8, which is Hs over Qs is equal to R Ars plus 1. Substituting from the given above, so we have now our transfer function becomes Qs is equal to 1 over 2 times 1 s plus 1. So, is that aside din siya kay we will later on uh, use this transfer function to find the uh, unknown in the problem. So, kanya tong input nga QS should be expressed as the, as the difference in step function which is obtained based from our illustration. So, in control system analysis, we are typically more interested in a deviation variable. So, it is a common practice to rewrite systems in terms of deviation variables. So therefore, using this function, we can now apply the heavy side step function definition. So using the definition of a heavy set heavy side step function, we can now write QT in terms of U of T. So based from the L so based from the illustration, so QT is equal to zero if F T is less than or equal to 0, which is this, this side of the model. And QT is equal to T if T is less than 0, but is less than or equal to 0, but is greater than or equal to 1. Which is this side of the equation. And QT is equal to 1 if T is greater than or equal to 1. So therefore, QT is equal to 0 plus t u sub 0 t minus u sub 1 t plus 1 u sub 1 t distributing t u sub 0 t minus t u sub 1 t plus u sub 1 t further simplifying Minus uh, t minus 1 u sub t minus 1. So this is now our qt. So getting the Laplace at, so getting the Laplace to get qs, so the Laplace inverse of t is 1 over s squared based from the table of Laplace. And the Laplace inverse of t minus 1 u, t minus 1. So based from the theorem, the Laplace inverse of this equation is equal to e, the negative c. So our c here is 1, s and the Laplace uh, transform of f of t which is 1 over s squared. So simplifying, we have now squared minus e to the negative s. This is now our qs. So we have now satisfied uh, the first uh, question of the problem which is to find QS and QP.
So the next task is to obtain an expression for HT where H is the deviation level. So gikan sa atong transfer function nga atong dissolve earlier, we substitute uh, the value of QS to our, ito uh, na kwa nga QS ganina. So we have now, HS is equal to 1 over 2S plus 1 times the quantity of QS which is 1 minus E to the negative S over S squared. Multiplying, we have 1 minus E to the negative S, S squared times 2S plus 1. So this, this is now our function HS. We can write this equation to 1 over s squared 2s plus 1 minus e to the negative s over s squared 2s plus 1. Tama? So, being for ht, we, we should get the Laplace uh, inverse of this uh, equation which is this one. So we can easily find the Laplace inverse of this uh, equation using the partial fraction method, which is to easily apply partial fraction, we can write this as 1 half over S squared times S plus 1 half. Diba? They're just the same. So, Partial fraction method, I know, kanang kabalo na taani, B, S squared, plus C over S plus 1 half. No longer show the step-by-step -step solu solution of this. Basta kay, if ato na siyang isolve, uh, yung makuha kay A is equal to negative 2, B is 1, and C is equal to 2. So, negative 2S plus 1 over S squared plus 2 over S plus 1 half. Oops. So, ato pang isolve ha kay kanya atong first term. This first term using partial fraction is equal to this. So we can now easily obtain the Laplace inverse of this using the table of Laplace, which is negative 2 plus t plus 2 e to the negative 1 half t. U t. Now, kung ano po na to ang Laplace inverse sa atong second term using this uh, theorem found in chapter 5. So, the Laplace inverse di ay ani sa e to the, neg e to the negative s f sub 0 times f to the s is equal to f times the quantity of t minus t sub 0 times u times t times the quantity of t minus t sub 0. So, therefore, the Laplace inverse of this uh, function, of this uh, term rather, is equal to minus negative 2 plus t minus 1 plus 2 e to the negative 1 half t minus 1 u sub t minus t sub 1. So, this is now our function ht. So, so, task b is completed and now, let us now determine ht at t is equal to 0 by simply substitu substituting 2 to the formula which is h of 2 is equal to negative 2 plus 2 plus 2e to the negative 1 half times 2 
minus negative 2 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2e to the negative 1 half times 2 minus 1. So using the calculator, h of 2 is equal to 0 0.5. So, we have already completed all the tasks required and I hope you find this helpful. Thank you.